Hey everybody, this is... <clears throat> hey everybody, the date is February 8th, 2017 at 3 a.m. And I've gone for my, basically my walk to basically buffer myself for workouts for the summer. Because I gained 10 pounds over the winter. So basically I'm out here and I'm going to record my MGTOW is the only way to live uh, episode for today. This is the dude. Reporting from behind enemy lines like Grizzly MGTOW, to quote him. This is where I am in Canada. It's freezing out, basically. Um, I wanted to tell a story about my neighbor, Lori the Loser. And I have many stories about her, but uh, we'll get right to the point. Basically, after two years of this loser in my building, single mother, watching, she was 30 years old, going through guy after guy, totally lost respect for her, and she was a user. And I have many examples of her using me, but um, after a while I got sick of her ways. And she was, she was this type of girl that if she saw you in the parking lot, she'd ask you for a favor. So this one particular day, I was on the fourth floor of, of the apartment building because I was doing some work up there, renovating. Because uh, in, in su one of my sub jobs is painting apartments and refurbishing them for this building that I live in. And so one day, I saw one summer day, I saw her basically with her current loser boyfriend well, I don't want to say loser because he was only a 19 year old kid, but this girl is 30. So she was using this particular kid, this, this little punk ass 19 year old kid. And this stage of his, at this stage of his life, he's a loser, basically, this little punk. But you know what I mean? He's a man, so he's not a loser altogether. But at this stage of his life, he was a loser, basically. So she's a 30 year old and he's a 19 year old kid. Anyways, so I saw her from the, from the, uh, from the parking lot, uh, the parking lot, and she sees me up on the fourth floor taking a break from my, uh, from my, uh, you know, my, the work I was doing up there. Basically, and, and she yelled at me, she yelled at me, and you have to remember, I was sick of her at this point. I had no respect for her. This girl had education of a fucking grade four. <laughs> She's walking towards her section of the apartment. She screams, she, she says to me, hey, uh, hey, hey, alpha male, no, what do I call myself? Hey, um, uh, hey, uh, hey, dude. Yeah, hey, dude. I'm like, yeah? And she's like, can you help me and my uh, boyfriend uh, get the couch from the garbage so I can bring it upstairs? Can you help us move our, the couch from the, somebody had it thrown a couch out at the curb. Can you help us, uh, can you come down here and you help us move the couch up into my apartment? And this guy was only like 19 years old and I'm 43. And I'm 5 foot 10, almost 200 pounds usually. I'm big, I'm a big fucking guy. And this guy was like 130 pounds, 5 foot 6, 19 years old. And I had so little respect from her at this time, and I was kind of in a pissy mood. So I said to her, I said to her, I said, what? You want me to help you move the couch? You want me to help you move the couch? She's like, yeah. So this is going to be like, you know, a 20 minute job. I got to move it up four flights of fucking stairs and take it from the garbage. So I said to her, and I swear to God I said this because I was so sick of her at this point. And I'll give many examples of why I was sick of her because of the fucking favor she would ask me. And you have to remember, this girl's a fucking dumb as a wall, uneducated, fucking on welfare, single mother of three at this point. And she only had one because the, the state took away two of her fucking kids already. And no one, in the, uh, no one in the building had any respect for her. She was a joke, okay? She was living there for like a year on welfare. And she was a fucking loser, man. So I said to her, I said, I tell you what. And I, this is how much I didn't care for her, or I wasn't intimidated by the guy. Because I'm a fucking alpha male, I'm telling you that right now, I'm a big guy. I said to her, I said, Lori, Lori's a loser. Lori, I said, Lori, I know, I know verbatim what I said, but I said basically this. Uh, I said, why don't you come up here, like right in front of her boyfriend. I said, why don't you come up here and fuck me, and then I'll fucking help you move the couch. And I, and I swear to God I said that. Why don't you come up here and fuck me and then I'll help you move the couch. You should have seen the look on her face. And I forget what the guy guy's reaction was. But you should have seen the look on her face. Anyways, I have many stories about her. I wanted to keep this video short. Um, please, I, I've, I've been on MGTOW channel now for maybe five days. I have almost 2,000 views and 44 subscribers. That's unfucking believable That tells me something. That tells me something you people are interested in MGTOW content. I've a lot of, I've engaged in a lot of comments. Please comment, keep commenting because uh, it gives me ideas for videos and topics. And I enjoy it, it. Actually, it's very therapeutic because it's making me think that I wasn't insane all these years when I had my fucking ex girlfriend who vilified me and made me feel like a fucking loser in this life. And made me an asshole to all her, to all her, who all her friends. They all treated him like shit. And in my normal life, I was, I'm always liked, which really 
fucked with my self-esteem. But anyways, please like the video, please comment, please subscribe, please click, please share the video, and please kick, click the bell so you get uh, my notifications. I'm freezing out. It's fucking uh, 15 below zero up here in Canada right now. Okay, everybody, take care. Remember, you are the fucking man in this life. Go out and win. It's a man's fucking world. Be a king in this lifetime. Go out and fucking do business. That's men doing business, my friend. Take care, everybody.